My desire and passion to be outside never went away, but I did struggle to believe that it was possible for a while. My name is Josh Hancock. I work as an environmental engineer, and on the weekends I really enjoyed uh, alpine climbing and ice climbing and mountain biking and just being outdoors however I could. A friend and I decided to take the day off to go climbing. Everything was pretty normal. As I was hanging on the rope resting, the anchor that he built failed, and I fell about 40 feet. I took a helicopter ride to Harborview Medical Center where I had an emergency spinal fusion and spent six weeks doing rehabilitation. After I got out of the hospital, my, my life changed a lot. I was in lots of physical pain. I was still learning how to get around in my wheelchair. My life in Seattle, as I knew it, kind of stopped. I decided to leave Seattle, but I didn't know where to go. I visited lots of places, but I just kept coming back to Bend, you know, really sort of started reconnecting to outdoor recreation. But in May 2018, I started having some really intense pains. I went to go see my doctor, and the MRI showed that I had a syrinx in my spinal cord. And so that's when he referred me to Dr. Tian at the center. My name is Ray Tian. I'm a neurosurgeon here at the center. I've been here in Central Oregon since 2005. Josh is a highly functional paraplegic. He came to me in, I believe, 2018, complaining of some new symptoms which he hadn't experienced before, which was some discomfort in his chest and in his arms. I went to go see Dr. Tian. I trusted him. I felt like he knew what he was talking about. The surgery that we were discussing was really scary. If anything went wrong, it's possible that I was going to become paralyzed at a higher location. Through those conversations, I, I came to believe that the center could do as good a job as anyone. So his, his surgery involved uh, basically finding an alternative pathway for the spinal fluid. But to enter that fluid cavity, you have to go through normal spinal cord. And that could cause significant loss of sensation and potentially motor function loss as well. The outcome of Josh's surgery was actually quite, quite good. Many of his symptoms resolved fairly quickly and you often don't see that happen. What we found in the follow-ups was that the syrinx was getting smaller in MRIs after the surgery, and my symptoms did stop getting worse right away, which was really encouraging. Getting the syrinx addressed really allowed me to kind of go back to doing lots of the things that I love and help me not live in fear of pain or, or being hurt. Dr. Tian's help through this whole process meant a lot to me and gave me a lot of confidence that he knew what he was doing and that he had communicated the risks to me. And the fact that Dr. Tian is just such a kind person and so competent and knowledgeable gives me a lot of confidence that the information I'm getting is good and I can trust it.